Hello. I hope you had a good day with the distance learning. I hope you're enjoying some of the activities that our teachers have thought hard about planning for you whilst you are at home at the current time. And we really appreciate all the support that our parents are currently giving to the students. We know that you're having to work extra hard at the moment to make sure that the students uh, get the support they may need at home. But we're also hoping that they're demonstrating to you just what independent learners they really, really are. Um, we are I wanted to update you, I wanted to update you as to where we are with our current process with our distance learning plan. So our teachers, as you know, have been hard at work planning um, activities for our students to learn this week. They've also started the process of connecting with students in face-to-face -face video. So they've started their well-being checks in primary today and they'll start those in secondary tomorrow. So you should either be having those checks already or you should have appointments coming through to you in the next day or so for your child's teacher or form tutor to connect with them and see how they're getting on in terms of their learning process. This is the key element of the call, but it also enables us to make sure that uh, yourselves as parents and, and the students and our teachers are all getting used to using our video conferencing platform, which is Zoom. Because the other thing that teachers are really hard at work doing at the moment is beginning to plan for the next phase of our distance learning plan, which is more live interaction for teachers and students, some live lessons, there's some live seminars, question and answer sessions, all blended in amongst some pre-recorded work and some student independent work to minimize screen time for students. All those things are being repaired and we're moving towards that and you'll get more information about that towards the end of the week, ready to launch some of those live lessons at the beginning of next week. We've still been open as a campus. We've made some big adjustments to try and fit in with the national and the local requirements and guidance that's currently out there. But we do have students that are also preparing for IGCSE and IB examinations. And we want to make sure that we are supporting those students. So they've been on campus today with the help of our fantastic languages teachers doing some of their language oral examinations. And that will continue over the course of the next few days. We have a number of other um, examination board requirements that our students need to complete that we are trying to support them with getting on campus to do in one one-on-one -on -one or very small groups as per the latest authority guidelines. From our oldest students to our youngest students, uh, we have a new initiative uh, around story times. So if you click on the link in this communication, you can see the first one of those is me reading a story for our younger students. If they'd like to see me put on some silly voices and try and make it entertaining, then hopefully that's a useful thing for our parents and students to enjoy together as well. As always, if you have any questions, please speak to your child's teacher or if you feel that it's a question for their head of school, contact their head of school or indeed myself if you think it's something that I can help you with. We know it's a challenging time for everybody and we appreciate that everyone is working together to make the best of a difficult situation. So I hope you enjoyed your day and I look forward to updating you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Oh, I almost forgot. If you've got any photographs or video of yourselves working hard at home and you'd like to send them through to us, please send them through to your teachers and then we'll collect them together and we can begin to share some of the great things you're all doing back at home. Bye-bye.